In this section, we will look at measures of center. First, we look at the mean, which is found by adding all the data, then dividing by the number of data values. Here is notation for the mean of a sample. An example. Here we get the mean is 3, which makes sense since it is in the center. For population, mean is denoted as mu. Another example calculating mean. Here we have the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 100. Here the mean is 22. Notice that it is much different than the previous example. Why do you think that is? Probably because of the 100 in the set. This is known as an outlier, since it is so far away from the other data. Another measure of center is the median. To calculate median of a data set, we organize the data in order and find the middle value. If there are an odd number of data values, the median is the middle number. If there are an even number of data values, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. An example. Median is 3, since it is the number in the middle. Next example has 6 data values, so the median is the average of 3 and 4. Next example. Again, the median is 3 since it is in the middle. Note, median is not affected by outliers. A reminder, make sure to put data in order before finding the median. One good way to do this is creating a stem leaf plot. The mode of a data set is the value that occurs the most.
some examples. This is no mode. Also no mode. Mode is three here. Mode is three here. And this is bimodal. Another measure of center is the mid-range. This is found by adding the maximum and minimum values, then dividing by 2. Here is a summary of the measures of centers with their possible pros and cons. Round off rule for these is to round to one more decimal place than the actual data. If we only have frequency distribution and not the actual data values, we can use this formula to calculate the mean. An example. First, let's see how many data values we have. Now we use the class marks and the frequencies to sum up on the numerator. And voila, the mean is 11.5. When mean, median, and mode are the same, the distribution can appear to be normal. If the mode is greatly different from the mean and median, the data can appear skewed. Now we will look at an example and find some of these measures of center with the calculator. Here are the basic directions, but let's do it together using the example below. After turning on the calculator, press the stat button. Then verifying the edit selection is highlighted, we press enter. We need to clear some of the data first, so scroll up to highlight L1, then hit clear and enter. For our first list, L1, we enter the data 
for brand A paint. The second list, L2, we input the data for brand B paint. Now we click the stat button, then scroll to the right until calc is highlighted. Make sure one of our stats is highlighted and press enter. Then you want to identify which list, L1 or L2, we want to analyze. So we start with L1, which is found by pressing second, then one. Now we have the sample mean for brand A paint, which is 35 months. Then we do a similar process to find the sample mean of brand B paint. Here we can see graphically a comparison of the two paints, brand A and brand B. Very different, even though they have the same mean, huh?